I've got the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro right here. This device is also known as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I want to show you how to install the Lineage OS recovery image on this device so that we can overwrite our stock Mi recovery image that Poco and Xiaomi are using on the device with the code name LMI. Now, usually whenever we install a custom recovery on a smartphone, we simply need to boot the device into fast boot mode and then flash the device, flash the image in a command prompt. However, we're currently not able to do that on this device with Lineage OS Recovery on any version of MIUI. Now this will likely change in the future whenever we get a, an official version of TWRP released for the device, when we get a, an official version of Lineage OS Recovery released for the device. But the smartphone is very new. There's not very many ROMs that have official support in general. A lot of them are just ports. And because of this, that means we have to, at least for right now, as of recording this video, we have to do a little bit more steps than normal to get this type of stuff working. So in order to get Lineage OS recovery installed on the Poco F2 Pro and the Redmi K30 Pro, we first need to have the 12.0.4 version of the MIUI Global ROM installed on this device. It has to be this version before we can install Lineage OS Recovery. At least, again, as of right now, this will probably change in the future. So if this has changed by the time you're watching this and you know about it, let me know about it in the comments below so that I can update at least these steps underneath the video so that they are up to date. Now, if you are unaware of how to get your device on this particular version of MIUI, I'm gonna have a link in the video description that links to my, what I have labeled as my Unbrick tutorial. And in that video, I go through how to manually flash a MIUI firmware on this device with a program called Mi Flash. So you need to follow that because the process is, is the exact same. Even though your device is not bricked right now, the, device, the, the process is gonna be the same. So you need to follow that tutorial, but you need to make sure that you download the 12.0.4 global MIUI firmware, which again, I will be linking in the video description. You need to follow that link scroll down and make sure that you are downloading the fast boot version because in that link you're going to see a recovery uh, version at the top but you need to scroll down and check the fast boot version to download that 12.0.4 so for just a quick recap before we begin we can begin to install lineage os recovery on this device, you need to have the bootloader unlocked. We need to have 12.0.4 of the global MIUI firmware installed. And once those two things are done, then we can begin the process of installing Lineage OS recovery. And again, if you're not familiar with how to do either of those two things, look in the video description as I'll be showing you how to do that. So once that's all done, we can begin by boot or by powering off the smartphone because we need to boot into fast boot mode. And again, if you're not familiar with how to do this, I show you in the video description. We're just holding the power and volume down buttons while the phone boots up. And then with that done, we can then connect the smartphone to our PC with a USB cable because we're then going to need to open up a terminal, Windows PowerShell, or a command prompt, and we're gonna to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. 
So here we have the Lineage OS recovery image file, and I'll be linking the download link in the video description as well. Once we have downloaded that file, we need to either copy or move that file into your ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. Again, once you have that done, we can open up a PowerShell, a command prompt, or a terminal. Now remember, our smartphone is still connected to the PC with a USB cable. The phone is still in fast boot mode, just like I showed you. And with that done, we need to type out the command fast boot space erase space user data. With that typed out, we're going to press enter to execute that command. You should get a question, are you sure you wanted to fast boot format this partition? And it will, you should get an okay message right here. Now the next thing we want to type out is the actual command that flashes the Lineage OS recovery image to the Poco F2 Pro. As you can see, that command is fast boot, space flash, space recovery, space recovery image. And that last part is space recovery image because our file name is recovery image. You can look in the properties if you need to, make sure the file name is just recovery.img. And that's why whenever we type in here, we're executing the fastboot file. We're telling that file to flash, aka install or overwrite, this recovery partition with this recovery image. So as long as you get two OK messages after that command, you are good to go. With that done, we can then type out the command fastboot space reboot and then space recovery. So we're telling the phone to reboot the phone, but instead of rebooting back into the Android operating system, we're just rebooting into the recovery system. And you can actually manually turn off the device and manually boot up with the button combination if you want. So I'll let you see how that process works. Here we go, I'm pressing enter now. It's going to force the device to reboot. And again, instead of booting into the Android operating system, it's gonna boot us right over into recovery, which as you can see is Lineage OS recovery because that's what we just installed. So there you have it. This is actually the first step, the first big step in a longer tutorial that I'm gonna be doing later this week that shows how to install, again, Lineage OS custom ROM on a device or other custom ROMs that are based on Lineage OS's sources for this device. But I'm going to leave this tutorial here today since it's already long as it is. I will be referencing this in that other video. So when in that other video when I say you need to install Lineage OS recovery, you're going to need to come back to this video and follow all of these steps. Because from here, we're actually going to need to doing other things like formatting the data and cache and ADB sideloading the ROM if we were to install the custom ROM from here. But again, that's not required just to flash and boot into Lineage OS recovery. And I know a lot of other ROMs are going to be needing this and needing these steps. So it's just best to have this as an individual tutorial for anybody who's wanting to install custom ROMs on this device, not just the Lineage OS ROM.